me a laugh, grin me a grin And then I know that we can win Dance me a dance, joke me a joke And blow the clouds away <laughs> Rock on to me a tune, sing me a song And we can help push life along Just you and me, come on and see Together we'll be okay Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> oh, good evening, ladies or gentlemen. <laughs> oh, and, and. What about me hand, Tommy? Oh, shut up. And don't tell me you've started to learn to read. All right, I won't. Go on, what's it about? It's called Who Killed Bernard Bickerstiff? It's an undimwit. <laughs> <laughs> you mean an who done it? I don't know, Tommy. I've not reached the end yet, but I'm nearly there. <laughs> Why do you want to buy a new book? I didn't buy it. What do you mean? I borrowed it from the library. Yeah? Hey, I borrowed something else to read and not while I was there. What was that? This. <laughs> Boy, you're really hopeless, you are. Eh? What's the book about? Well, it's... And don't tell me it's 158 pages long, because that's a very old joke. And well, don't it's... tell me it's a very old book, because that's another very old joke. All right, I won't then. But what I'll tell you is this, Tommy. What I've read so far mm. is about... Money and threats. Oh, wow. wow. Hey. Yeah. Money and threats. Look at this on first page. What's that say? Uh, failure. Yes. Failure to return this book on time will result in a fine <laughs> of a penny a day. Yeah, that makes a great train robbery sound like pilfering from a piggy bank. I know it does. Hey, wait a minute. What do you say that book were called? Who killed Bernard Bickerstiff? Have you read it? Read it? That's my favourite. I know it is. All right, there's this terrific murder scene in where the murderer creeps into the library, he grabs hold of the book, puts it over his nose and holds it there till he suffocates. <laughs> oh, Bobby. You're stupid, I know that. Sorry. I know that. Uh, sorry. Hey. <laughs> I don't know. Bobby, I got carried away then. I nearly did feet first. Look, that <laughs> weren't from the, the murder of who killed Bernie Pickerstaff. No. That was from the play The Nose Murder. Mind you. It was by the same author, so I is it any wonder I were confused? You're marvellous. Mind you, wait a minute. Now I know how Bernie Bickerstaff gets killed. How? He rips his sleeve off his jacket like that. Hey! What are you doing? He puts it round his neck and strangles him! <laughs> You're going mental! I know, you. I know! I can't stop it! You're mental! I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't! Oh, wait a minute, that's not it. That's not how Bernie Pickerstaff gets killed. You're mental! Wait a minute! Now I know how he gets killed, it's like this! Hang on, Tommy, hang on. What? I'll set a spots in front of my eyes. <laughs> I'll settle this. I'll turn to the back page and find out who he did it, how he did it, when he did it, and why. You won't at all, because it'll take you all day to read the back page. Let's have a look. Oh, look at, see, look. According to this, Bernie Bickerstaff, he was part of a double act, and he didn't get murdered at all. Didn't he? In spite of his partner trying to kill him twice. You mean his partner... <laughs> his partner tried to kill him twice? That's right! <laughs> once with the book, and once with the sleeve of his jacket. <laughs> Daft, that. Eh, not half. It's daft. Stupid. Stupid. Daft. It's daft. Yeah, ludicrous. It's... it's daft. <laughs> Come on, let's take this boot back. No, Tommy, I'm allowed to have it another week. Well, they'll give you a penny a day back for taking it early. I never thought of that. I don't want it anyway. Why not? You tried to murder this wife, well, I didn't know. Reach for the sky. One false move, I'm going to fill you full of lead. Tommy, I can hit a fly at five feet away. You can't. I can't. Look. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a bit quiet in the saloon tonight. How's the whatness come? It's not a saloon. You what? It's not a saloon. Isn't it? No. Hey. How'd you run him all? 
Tell Crazy Horse his head band slipped again. <laughs> hey, Tommy. Well. You what? I said well. <laughs> I'm not so bad, thank you. <laughs> hey, Tommy. If, uh, if, <laughs> if Johnny Moore jumped out of an aeroplane, would he shout, parachute? <laughs> What do you mean this isn't a saloon? Hey, hey, you haven't set me up for ambush, have you? Oh, come on, I've just told you, haven't I? It's not a saloon, it's a dentist's waiting room. You swine, you promised me we could go to Dodge City. <laughs> I thought it looked funny when we caught a number 46 past the glue works. Oh, come on. You need a 33B for Dodge City. You need a 33B for Trafalgar Square. All them pigeons, Tommy, you've got to dodge there. <laughs> I thought you had that funny look in your eyes. A slight case of subterfuge, that's all. I've told you not to eat that Chinese takeaway. <laughs> hey! You see that? <laughs> I was specially deputised for that. You have to go to outpatients to get it. Hey, just stop trying to chatter up. Oh, come on, Tommy. You promised me you'd take me to Dodge City. I wanted to see Wild Billy Cop, Wyatt Earp, Jesse James, or that used to be in Mrs. Dale. Hey, on Doc. <laughs> Holiday. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll see, Doc. <laughs> a holiday? When? When I take you down to Tilbury to see the night shift. Now keep quiet. <laughs> it took me ages to get you here. All right then. I'll talk to this bunny girl. Hey. <laughs> I saw you in water shit down. <laughs> you yeah, fabulous. Now up it. <laughs> oh, so just keep quiet. Oh, come Just on. wait to see the dentist, will you? Tommy. I've been practicing with my coat 45. Hey, hey, just lock that thing away. Tommy, no. What? You should never bolt a coat. <laughs> Look, Tommy, I'm a crap shot. Huh? I can knock a tin off a fence ten times out of ten. So if you see an outlaw with irons tattooed across his chest, <laughs> give me a shout, Tommy, I'm the boy to do it. Listen, just be careful with that thing, you. I'm a crack shot. Yeah? Here, look. Throw this silver dollar in the air. Come on, Tommy. Do I have to? Come on, Tommy. Come on. <laughs> Not as high as that. <laughs> well, it's inflation, Bobby. Hey, I'll play you at poker. I'll raise you two. <laughs> That's not very nice, is it? Now, just keep quiet. Wait to see the dentist. So you're not taking me to Dodge City? No. It was just a trick, weren't it, Tommy? To get me to the dentist. And I fell for it. Like an idiot. <laughs> no thanks, I've got one with me. <laughs> oh, come on, Tommy. You know I don't like the dentist. I hate needles. Needles? Needles never harmed anybody. They harmed me, Tommy, when I had my operation for my appendix. Yeah? They sold me button up by mistake. <laughs> they kept filling up with fluff and overflowing. Right down to my underpants. I had to line them with vacuum bags. <laughs> Will you just shut up? Will you please sit down? My poor little Jim is frantic. He has to have a big filling. Why? Do they do heads now? <laughs> <laughs> He's very sensitive, you see. He's musical. Give me a hammer. I'll play him. <laughs> He's not a musical instrument, is he? You need him in then. You should... I'll, I'll smack your oh. cool boy. <laughs> Now, who's next to see the dentist? He, he is. is. <laughs> right. This way, please. Tommy, the needle. Oh, come on. What about the needle? You give everybody else the needle, you little womble. Oh, Tommy, I'm frightened. <laughs> You're not going to let a little needle frighten a crack shot like you, are you? No. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Hello, I am, Tommy. You drop your gun. <laughs> oh, sorry, Tommy. That's a ticket. What ticket? Oh, come on, they're waiting to see you now. <sighs> OK, Tommy, I'm not frightened. After all, I am the man that shot Liberty Bodice. <laughs> no, 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 you mean Liberty Valance. You're having a good time when I saw oh. him, Tommy. We're ready for you now. Oh, your room's already now. <laughs> <laughs> Do not forsake me, oh my God. Get him! <laughs> hey, do you mind? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's all 
a fuss about a little jab. Don't tell me, Tommy. <laughs> tell me! Hello, Tommy. Hello, Bobby. Hello, Tommy. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. I've just said it, have not. Why? Ladies and gentlemen, a little song about Mrs. Thatcher. She was only the greengrocer's daughter, but she showed Sir Geoffrey how. Look, <laughs> <laughs> Tommy. Tommy. Oh! What do you do that for? Just an ad lib, Tommy. It just came out. Oh! <laughs> Look, if it's not a rude question, why are you howling like a dog? I can't tell you, Tommy. It's very personal. Okay. Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> it all goes back to my childhood, Tommy. I had a very pathetic childhood. Oh, did you? Oh. I was an unwanted child. You mean your mother and father would have preferred a girl? No, Tommy, they would have preferred a dog. <laughs> but they couldn't afford a license. So they had me instead. Fetch me up as a Jack Russell. You need to tell me your mo mother and father brought you up as a Jack Russell? Till I got measles. Then it was a Dalmatian. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. Roll over. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, no, I mean, give over. Don't, Tommy. It was proper purgatory for me. Yeah? As soon as I could toddle, my mother put papers down in the corner. <laughs> and she taught me to fetch your pipe and slippers. And well, the first words she taught me were, sit and fetch. Go on. Dirty doggy. <laughs> your mother must have led you a dog's life. <laughs> Don't, Tommy, don't make fun. I've got a bad reputation. Gypsies won't let me play with the mongrels. Boy, you must have had it. Rough! <laughs> don't, Tommy, it was very embarrassing. Do you know, it was really embarrassing for me when I said hello to people. Well, why? I had a wet nose. <laughs> Mind you, Ralphie. <laughs> eh, that explains a lot about you. What? Now I know why every time we go out for a walk, you stop at every lamppost. <laughs> Tommy, it took me a while to shake my doggy habits. <laughs> Till I was 15, I was biting postmen. And at 25, I was chasing men on motorbikes. <laughs> it could have been worse. It couldn't have been worse, Tommy. I was a failure as a dog. Sheep used to worry me. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, look, I mean, it could have been worse. I mean, your mother could have had you down to the vets and had you seen to. She took me down to the vets. Yeah? But it were closed. <laughs> Does it still affect you being brought up as a dog, then? Only when I go and see a lassie film, Tommy. Mm. I come out and think I've got a hard pad. <laughs> you know, you can be real stupid at times. You're daft. Uh... Mm. <laughs> so it still affects you, eh? OK, I've got a good idea. Hey, fetch. <laughs> oh, come on, Tommy. <laughs> it doesn't affect me that much. Oh, well, uh, come on. Oh, <laughs> What's wrong with it? Don't be so stupid. Let's get on with the show, will you? On one condition. What's that? You take me walkies first. <laughs> yeah, I'll do anything for you. Come on. Thanks, Tom. Come on. Man. <laughs> oh, hello. <clears throat> hello. Is that the <laughs> telephone complaints department? This is Patrick Lefebvre here, interior designer. Oh, grizzle guts, yes. <laughs> Look, when are you going to send somebody over to change this telephone? Well, black is absolutely out this year. Yeah, I know you're short staffed. I know you have trouble with the parts. Yes, and I know you work very unsociable hours. I do agree. Mm. Look, I was phoning you to complain to you. Silly of me, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look, supposing I offered the men a little something extra to make it worth their while. Oh, thanks, that was quick. <laughs> no jobs, doesn't it? <laughs> I, I, I what? Sound like who? Sid Bolton, who used to run the Chinese takeaway. How dare you?
How's the prom ball business? Still sweet and sour? <laughs> you know what you're talking about? Oh, come on, Sid. Had few young, eh? Fried rice, chicken chop securicor. <laughs> securicor? They're an Alsatian in mine. You must be mistaken. <laughs> no, we're not. not mistaken, pal. We're from the post post office. Post post office? We don't bother with second post nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Have you come to change my telephone? Well, of course we have. What's your name? Patrick. Patrick. There you are, Tommy. What? Number 47, Patrick Thistle. Got it. <laughs> Patrick Thistle. <laughs> That's your football coupon. We put it down to win, haven't we? <laughs> you know. Say, oh, yes. I'm away this week. Well, come we'll on. come back when you're in the... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> are you sure you're telephone engineers? No, we're brain surgeons. <laughs> Oh, I'm fully today. Look, Cap, uh, what exactly do you want? I want that red. It says fire, police, ambulance. No, 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 no. I no, want... no. I want the colour red. Oh, well, it's black. I knew it. <laughs> I want it to be red, and I want it in there. I want another one in there too. Is that clear? Of course, it's clear. What's he talking about, Paul? I don't know. Look, I'll tell you what to do. You get on with the job, right? And I'll get the details down. Go to it. OK, Tommy. Right, sir. Inside leg. Search it. <laughs> I hope he's going to be careful. I have some very valuable pieces in there. Oh, I had some very valuable pieces in there. Look, don't... Well, look, look. Just what do you want? Perfectly simple. Two in there. And that one to take away. I tell you, I know nothing about Chinese takeaways. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I finished. Finished? I finished. Incredible. You must drill holes faster than Esther Ranson's dentist. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Two faults. Just put them both on the same wall. That's not the object of the exercise. That is the exercise. Luke. One. Two, one, two, one, three, one, three. It's the wrong number. It's got nothing to do with it at all. Not only are they on the same wall, I said I wanted a red one. Oh, the red one. I put the red one over here on the table. Good lad. What? Wow. I believe this. <laughs> what are you doing? What? He didn't mean that sort of a red one, did he? Now you've upset him. Not as upset as I were when he had his chicken chop security car. I keep on telling you I know nothing about Chinese takeaway. What are you going to do about this mess? Haven't you got any proper phones? Of course we have. Get him a phone. What about this one? That's another black one. I want a red one. Oh, Tommy's got a red one. What? You can ring Tommy and reverse the charges. <laughs> Just keep quiet, right? Look, I'm sorry about this, Mr. Lefevre. Lefevre? Oh. oh, he's Welsh. Oh. Oggy, 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 oggy. Oi, oi, oi. No, wait a minute. Look, we're sorry about this mess, honestly. I want you to know that we, as typical representatives of the British working man, are not afraid to get our hands dirty. There are some things more important to us, like pride and achievement, mm. pleasure in helping mm. others at their mm. time, <laughs> satisfaction from honest toil. <laughs> Now get on with it, I've got you! Sorry about my mate, Mr. Thistle. It's all right, and the name's Lefebvre. Right? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Where's my phone? You've got my skin! <laughs> See ya! <laughs> what the hell am I going to do with a Mickey Mouse phone? You can always ring for a minute, Cub. <laughs> I've got this one. <laughs> it's in any wording form. It's better than an interpreter. Wow! Well, and it's an up and under. under. <laughs> Look at my beautiful house. Look at the bed. You stand still when I'm talking to you. <laughs> All I wanted was a phone over there. What's up? And a red one over here. Now look at the mess. What's, 
Was... Looks like something out of a Daly mural. A what? It means something out of the Daily Mirror. <laughs> Either you get me a red telephone or you don't get a penny for the job. Is that understood? Hey, hey, hey. Don't you talk to him like that, pal. Why not? Because I want to do. Now get us the red phone, right? <laughs> Fuck it, I'll get it. It's here, look. There you go. It's here. <laughs> No tricks. <laughs> no tricks. <laughs> well, would you like it? <laughs> On the table, by the window. <laughs> OK. Sorry. Would you like to try it? Thank you. <clears throat> Hello, I, I, I... <laughs> You know, you can be really stupid at times, you. How's he supposed to order his fried crispy noodles on that thing? No, he doesn't do that anymore, do yeah. you? All right, all right, all right, I admit it. My name is Sid Bolton. Mm. I changed it when I went into the interior decorating business. Oh, ho. Because you're rich now, you think you're too posh for the Chinese takeaway, do you say? Not entirely, no. You flipping do, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very nice. That's pretty. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> what is that for? <laughs> it's Humpty Dumpty. Show your mouth. <laughs> Two takeaways. No, no. Wait, wait, no, wait. Sit, We're sit, kidding you, sit, sit, sit. 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 Dear, when you smile at me, ratty jatty jatty, are you a fellow? Ratty jatty jatty. What are you doing? <laughs> what's up? What's all this ratty jatty jatty? What do you mean? Well, the song zing. I am zinging. <laughs> Let's get on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dear, when you smile at me, zing. Are you a fellow? Zing. Get on it, me. From the start. Sing, sing, sing. All right, forget it. What's up? You've ruined the song again. Hey, did you about know that Irish jellyfish? What about it? It's set. Oh, <laughs> come on, will you? Get your call. OK, Tommy, you have to ruin everything we do, you. I'll try my best. Good night. Forget it. Okay.